Hi everyone, welcome back again. So in this session, we'll be discussing about how to create a custom slide to action button in Flutter. So um, with Flutter, we will be able to create this uh, custom slide to action button. And what we have here is a simple app. And this is a button over here. Actually, it is an animated container what I have used. And if I drag this container on a horizontal axis, then we get this uh, container animated and fits into its position. So uh, let me run the app again. Actually, we have a set of two containers. So this is the a parent container which and this dark blue is a child container and so let me drag it in the horizontal direction and you can see that animation like the slide to action okay so in this tutorial we'll be discussing how to create this kind of slide to action kind of uh, animation in your flutter application okay so with this idea let's move on to the coding part well starting with the main dot file the home points to my home page and inside this my home page we have a stateful widget class and a scaffold inside this scaffold let us create an app bar okay so we have a app bar a simple app bar over here well followed by the app bar we have a body and the body contains a simple container and which is placed at the center right and the container i have provided the box decoration as the border radius is um, a circular with 50 pixels so the color is light blue okay now for this so this is the parent container all right so for this parent container we need to have uh, two children which are wrapped in a row wise manner okay so the children are a text a simple text widget as well as a payment successful so this is nothing but the custom function which we will be just defining shortly so this payment successful uh, function will be responsible rendering that circular uh, kind of uh, what we call the animator container okay so um, let me create a function named payment successful okay okay so we have a payment successful function a custom defined function which returns a widget that is the animator container so um, so actually we just wrongly just defined all those variables inside the build function right so let me just move that above okay so let me have that inside that uh, class okay so not inside that function okay we have def just defined an animator container so the output will be having a circular and circular simple circular container uh, basically okay so what we need to have is we need to just move this container right so um, for that we will be making use of transform.translate and we will be just incrementing the value of translate x value okay so we will be incrementing the value of translate x alone okay by the factor of 1 now let me wrap this animator container with the widget which is called transform.translate and we need to specify the offset as translate x as translate y now we have a simple container and which when altered will be moving in the x axis alone okay and this animated container will be having two children one is uh, an icon and another is the text widget okay so let me just define them and i have just made a simple condition over here which i have checked this as if the width is greater than 0, 0.0 that is if the animator container have started animating then at that case alone i will be just rendering a check icon as well as this payment successful text widget if it is not then i will be just simply rendering this uh, navigate next icon alone so you can see that now we haven't moved the container in the x-axis that is uh, now the my width value is zero so we get this navigate to next icon okay so whenever the width goes beyond zero that is if the animation starts happening then at that time we will be getting that payment successful text widget okay so that is a simple condition over here likewise we need to check the same condition for rendering this expanded text so if the width is equal to 0.0, .0 then at that time alone we just need to render this expanded text widget else in other case we just render a size box an empty size box okay so we just don't want that swipe to make payment 
to appear whenever the payment is already made that is if the payment successful text widget appears so at that case we just need to remove this swipe to make payment text widget as in invisible okay and at last in order to uh, grab the gestures we just need to wrap this entire row inside the gesture detector and we will be tracking the horizontal drag gesture alone. so for that we will be creating the function which is on horizontal drag update and based on this condition so this condition is what I have said is uh, if the horizontal drag is in the positive direction that is if it moves towards the right then increment transfer function will be triggered now let me just create this increment translate x value function and this increment translate x function goes over here and which is an async function and we will be making use of future dot delay to have a slight delay in terms of one millisecond and we will be incrementing the translate x value which we have used over here inside this animated container that is over here so we have this translate x over here and we will be incrementing it by the factor of one and this for loop um, just continues executing till we reach the end of the parent width so whenever this uh, dark blue container reaches the width of that is equal to the parent width then at that time we will be breaking this loop and coming out and we will be just showing up the payment successful text widget okay so let me try that again with hard restart so whenever you drag it in the horizontal positive direction then this slide to action button will get animated okay so that's it guys that's all about how to implement slide to action animation in your flutter application so hope you guys enjoy this video if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one bye